Yeah, man. And for the act for Papari, I'm thinking the, the the peg the peck actor, the Indian actor who did Slumdog Millionaire and Green Knight. I'll have him compete with Avon Jojo for the Papari role. See who's better for the job, obviously. Something tells me I'll choose Avon Jojo or him, but like I might choose the other guy. You never know. But all you say is actors like relax. There's a high chance. I don't know 70 chance I'm going to choose you guys over the other actors. But I might there might be a few perhaps changes. I might choose Vigo Mortensen over Don Cheadle. I might choose. You know what I'm saying? I might choose the other guy over Papari. I might choose perhaps Daniel Kulaya over John uh, John Boyega. You never know. Highly unlikely, but there's a small chance I might. You never know. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Peter, what do you think of all these actors I'm thinking of? What do you think of the Amor actor? Ivan, you're like, you're choosing all my Lord of the Rings actors, Ivan, eh? I'm like, yeah, Peter, I'm choosing. Yeah, Ivan, I think Amor would be good for, is good for Cornelius. I can picture him as a blacksmith, yeah. A badass buff blacksmith, yeah. That's why he's good for, for Cornelius, obviously. Yeah, Ivan, I, I can picture the guy from Slumdog Millionaire as Papari, too. There's, he's really good for Papari, too. Yeah, holy shit, Ivan, you're creative. You're, you're pitching all the actors in mind. Yes. Yes. Yes, I'm pitching all these actors in mind. I think these actors are all perfect for the role. What do you think of this actor who did Homeland, the Saul actor, for, for the role of Sirius? He's young. He's only like in his early 70s. You can easy, easy, Sirius is an older man. He's in his 60s. You can easily have him play the role of Sirius. He, and he fights with his bow, Sirius. Sir, Sirius and Job are archers. And Sirius and Job become good friends. In the book, obviously. They become good friends. And Papari and Taki's become best friends, pretty much. Obviously. And then Bell is Lithia's best friend, obviously. Obviously, right? Yeah, man. And because I paid Peter... His rich 107 million, 106 million, I don't know, his rich 85 million in Canadian, which is like 106 million New Zealand money, and I gave him a nice 0.6% of the profit, 0.4. He's going to make his 280, 300, 30, 330 with the New Zealand rates, like 350 million royalties. Peter's going to make, I don't know, his 400 million dollars, 350 to 400 million dollars for my movie. He'll work hard. Harder for me than what he even did for Lord of the Rings. Even though he's doing grueling bus and tears, he's getting his rich 65 million dollar salary. He's nice, I don't know, 1.7 million check every two weeks. Or work hard. <laughs> work really hard, man. Because every two weeks he's getting his like multi 1.8 million dollar check every two weeks. If I extend to 12 to 12 months, he'll get a lesser check, a smaller check. Because it's a, it's, I, I pushed the, the, the I, I extended the, 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 the deadline date further, obviously. But he's still making his full 65. I just extend the date, obviously, right? And, I, and I'm feeding him a luxury buffet. I'm not feeding him the food he ate for Lord of the Rings. No, I'm feeding him like hamburger sliders. Nice hammer size like McDonald's, nice pizza, pepperoni, cheese, veggie, nice crispy bread fries with gravy, nice, nice, nice what? Nice ribs, nice wings, nice fried rice. Peter will, will destroy the food, obviously, and he'll work hard, obviously. All you can drink milkshake, all you can drink a vending machine like Subway for the, for the drinks. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, all these actors are going to work hard for me because I'm spoiling the shit out of them. Yeah, man. If Viggo Mortensen's hired, he'll work double hard on me one year for Lord of the Rings. Because he's getting his luxury buffet. He's getting his three beers once a week. Three beers three beers once a week on the house, man. Okay, when we're filming in the middle of nowhere, I'll have my 17 make the calls for thousands of beers. That way the crewmate can get their three beers the third year. And the fourth year, what, the actors and crewmen get all the three beers once a week. Every Friday, the, 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 every, the crewmen get their three beers once a week. That's how it works, obviously. And then when the actors film in studio... Um, I'll have my seven team cover the cost for the feeding and, their, and, and, and the first round of beers on me, obviously. If, chances are, I will be hanging out with the actors at the bar sometimes. Okay, filming's done. Okay, hey, Ivan, you want to come to the bar? Yeah, guys, I'll go to the bar. Okay, all you guys come to the bar with me in the hotel. First round's on me. I'll pay for the 30 crewmen and, like, the, the 10 actors who are filming in, in the studio, obviously. And the actors, first round's on me. And afterwards, the actors are paying with their own money. I'm not paying for you, man. You got, you're getting your, you got your nice fucking... 
fat checks every two weeks. You guys are already rich. And Peter got his $10 million, $65 million our salary during the four years. And where are Motors gains one went on? And you know what I'm saying? Os um, Barry Osmond got his nice paycheck to his 850K. They're paying for their own beer. I'm not going to pay. They think I'm going to pay for all your rounds. You're crazy. Obviously. That's why he's acting because Peter Jack's going to have a blast working with my movie. Or Mel Gibson, because I might choose him over Peter. You never know, man. Don't hate me, Peter. Just because I talk about Peter doesn't mean I'm going to choose him. I might choose Mel Gibson over him. You know what I'm saying? Because somebody tells me Mel Gibson is the better man for the job. But, but I'm reading the book. I'm like, man, how can I deny Peter Jackson over, 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 over fucking Mel, man? Peter Jackson has that Lord of the Rings resume, man. I'm reading his book. You know what I'm saying? From the beginning, how he, how he tried to get the rights from... He tried to get the rights... Him and, and him and, and Harvey Weinstein, I'm saying, they tried to get the rights off Saul Zanks for the rights to Lord of the Rings. And his journey, how he got New Line to, to the Green Line, his, to his Lord of the Rings trilogy, is an amazing story, obviously. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. It's an amazing story, obviously. Yeah, so while Peter Jackson's filming the movie, I don't mind Peter going over the footage with the editor. Okay, Peter, I, I need you to go over the footage with the editor to see if we need to make... I'm going to ask Peter, Peter, even though I hate doing reshoots, I don't mind doing reshoots. If you want to if you want to have the actors come back to Switzerland for another... For, 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 for another what? The Zane's movie might get delayed to even 2031 for release, if I do reshoots. Hey, Peter... Okay, Peter, Peter, you're more than high. Once, once the footage is done, you can watch the movie with the editors if you want. I recommend you don't. I recommend you just watch scenes that are some, some scenes. If you don't like some scenes, I'm more than happy to take out another $100, $200 million and put it towards reshoots if you want. Because me, I don't mind going a bit over, I don't mind going over a billion too. I, sorry, I don't mind going over, over, over a billion because, because me, me and Vijay are going to make our tens of billions back. Oh, yeah, yeah, don't worry about it, Peter. If you need, if you need, if you want to do reshoots and you don't like certain, certain, certain scenes, Fly all the actors back, and the actors will re-sign their contract. I'll pay the actors a good... For the reshoots, I'll pay all the major stars a nice, like, 1.5 million bucks for the reshoots. Pay all the major stars 1.5 million for the reshoots. That's a good paycheck for the reshoots. I'll take another, like, 150 million of my money, and I'll put it towards reshoots. Obviously, and I'll pay the actors, like, 1.5 million bucks. Which is good for if if I end up doing a reshoot. Well, I highly doubt. I don't think I will be doing a reshoot because Zayn's is the almost perfect story. People, are like, I we don't have to do any reshoots. The, 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 the false fine. Your book, your your story is a masterpiece. We don't have to fix anything. Yeah, it's a fucking masterpiece, man. But if we need to fix stuff, I don't mind coming back to Switzerland. It will piss me off, obviously, because I I don't want to do all that dirty work again. Yak was gonna be tired. Oh, I haven't really. Don't worry, guys. I'll pay you a nice like one point five million bucks to to do the reshoots, which is a good deal. Everyone gets their flat one point five million bucks. Have you fly in all the 20, 30, 20 actors, 15 actors, and they do reshoots. Pay them a nice $1.5 million. That way they're motivated to work hard for you. For, for We can do a good like two months worth of reshoots if you want. But I don't, wanna, I don't want that to happen as I'm not a fan of reshoots. Reshoots are really, really annoying, man. It's really, really annoying coming back. There's nothing worse than doing that dirty work for one year. And then Peter Jackson tells the actors, yeah, sorry, guys. He tells their agents, yeah, sorry, guys. We're going to fly you guys back into Switzerland. I have to fly the actors back into my office. You have to sign those contracts, obviously. And they're going to pay them the 1.5 million bucks. Obviously, I can give them a 500K bonus. Signing bonus, the actors. And I can pay them the 1 million side for the two months of reshoots. It's a good deal for the actors. No, like, oh, that's a good deal. If you're going to gonna pay me a million five, I'll, I'll glad you do reshoots for it. Yeah, I'll pay you. If, if, if you do reshoots, I'll pay you a nice paycheck for it. I'll pay all you actors nice well, one point five million dollars for for the reshoots. This is nice, nice paycheck, obviously, for reshoot. But chances are, I will not do reshoots. As I'm to Peter, please, I don't want to come back to do any reshoots. Only if the like, the only way I'll ever do reshoot is if you really, really want to change the scene and the scene's bad. If the scene's really, really bad, we can come to Vancouver and do the reshoots, obviously. But it'll be very, very annoying because I don't want to come back to soon after doing that dirty work. I want to just take my break. Enjoy, enjoy, you know, take my break, enjoy the world tour, and, and do post production, release the movie, do the red carpet event, and take my year off and, get, and prepare for, uh, get ready for the great escape movie. You see what I'm saying? Here? Peter, as long as you plan the story with me, we do the concert arts together, we co act together, you took your notes, they should, you shouldn't have to, you sh you sh there shouldn't be any reshoots, as you should get an amazing, almost perfect story. You should get an amazing movie, you won't have to do any reshoots. Trust me, Peter. But because Peter, I heard Peter is a perfectionist, 
If Peter is a perfectionist, chances are he might want to. Ivan, I don't really like this scene. I think we should redo this. Okay, fine. Find all the actors. I okay, Peter, how much scenes do you want to change? I don't know, Ivan. I want to change a good like 30 scenes in your movie. Okay, fine. How how long will it take to film? I don't know, Ivan. It'll take us a good two months to film the movie. Obviously. It'll take me two months to film the movie, and then we'll come back to Swiss and do reshoots. And I'll pay Peter for the reshoots too. I'll pay him, uh, I can pay Peter a good five million for the reshoots. Four million, five million for the reshoots. Okay, Peter, I'll pay you, take money, I'll take like one, one hundred one out of my pocket, and I'll pay you, um, um, I'll pay you your four, and I'll pay all the actors at 1.5, obviously, and the crewmen, I can pay them a nice, like, five thousand dollars. The crewmen who are coming back to Switzerland, you can pay them a nice six thousand bucks each for the reshoots, and the rest you put towards the movie, because you gotta put a lot of money towards the movie. That's a good pay for the crewmen. Two months of work, you pay them six grand, six grand for the for, for, for the reshoots. That's a good for the crewman. All right, that's good. Okay, okay, guys. If we end up doing reshoots, I'll fly in us. Uh, I'll fly in half of the crewmen. I'll fly in only the crewmen who I need, obviously. And I'll pay you guys six thousand bucks for a couple months of reshoots. That's a good deal for you guys. I have mean, that's a fair deal. Yeah, not, if you think I'm gonna pay you like fifty grand, you're crazy, man. No, I'm gonna pay you six grand. That's a good. That's a good paycheck for a crewman for for a couple months of work. It's a good paycheck for a crewman. As you already got your one thousand dollars, your two thousand dollars gift card. But chances are, I told you, I will not be doing research. As Zayn's is the almost perfect story. If Pierre takes his notes and he does a contrast with me, we co-write with me, we have the same vision. He studied his notes. He's prepped. Everyone's prepped. The crew, the first shoot director, second director, the assistant directors are all prepped. You will get the almost perfect story. You won't have to do any reshoots, guaranteed. We won't have to do any reshoots, Sim Sanger. End this video here in what, like 19 minutes? 18 minutes here? I'll end the video. 17 minutes? I'll end the, I'll end the video here. Obviously. So going back to the casting. So I, I'm thinking John Mike Davis or Bernard Hill are perfect for the role of Eli. John Mike Davis, I'm... John Wright, John Wright Davis is my first choice, but Bernard, I'm thinking Bernard Hill is also good too. But John Wright Davis has more of that leader look than, 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 than Bernard Hill. Bernard Hill played the King Thaden of, of Lord of the Rings. Pay Bernard Hill $3 million. That's a good paycheck for him. Give him 0.01% of the profits. That's a good paycheck for him. And I'll pay, I'll pay John Wright Davis $5 million bucks for the role. And I'll give him 0.01% of the profits. He can enjoy his millions for the, for the remaining, I don't know, seven, eight years he has in, on Earth. Hopefully he makes, my prayer is he makes it to like in his 90s and he can enjoy his millions for a couple more, for a good like, I don't know, nine more years before he passes away. Don't hate me, you guys. Yeah. Now, as once I saw him, the actors pretty just me shocked. I was like, holy shit, I mean. You're paying all like all all these fucking actors are consistent millions, Ivan. Like Hollywood can't afford this. Like Ivan, you're going like you, the actors are costing you like eighty plus million dollars, Ivan. You know, so they're all costing you like eighty plus eighty two million dollars. Like like for Lord of the Rings, we couldn't afford this. For Lord of the Rings, you only had like a twenty five million dollar cap for the actors, and like for Lord of the Rings, they only had like a twenty million dollar cap for 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 paying the actors. Eighteen million dollar cap for paying the actors around there. Lord of the Rings. They pay Ian McKellen took a good chunk of the pie. He made thirteen, and the actors got the remaining the remaining piece of the pie, the peanuts, obviously. Vigo got his like one million, one point five million. Orlando Bloom got his shitty one seventy five thousand dollars. That's why I read on the internet. And the, all the other actors got their two fifty, one fifty k, and then Elijah Wood maybe got like eight fifty k or some of that for um, eight fifty to a million bucks for the movie. Okay, Patreon, but it's shitty compared to my company. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. But the one man who took home all that cheddar, man, don't hate him, Peter Jackson, is fucking Peter Jackson. Peter Jackson took all that fucking dough, man. <laughs> yeah, man. He was worth the money, because at the end of the day, he's the mastermind behind Lord of the Rings. But Peter Jackson took all that fucking cheddar, man. He made like $180 million off the three movies of Lord of the Rings. He got $10 million bucks, which is pretty nice. He didn't make as much as Ian McKellen for his salary, but he made more for the royalties. As he took home like $180 million in royalties. For the, uh, for the pie, obviously. If I were Peter Jackson, I probably would have gave, given all the actors a one, like one million bucks. 
for Lord of the Rings, all the major ones, I would have gave them all a million bucks of my money, obviously, if I if, if I were Peter Jackson. But I told you, no no one in this world is like me. I'm, even though I'm very greedy, I'm very generous. If I were Peter Jackson and I made 180 million bucks for the movie, I would have given, like, I would have given all the main, like, all the Hobbit actors and all them. I wouldn't have given Ian McCown anything, but I would have given at least, like, Vigo and, like, and, like, the Hobbit guys, like, a million bucks of my money. I would have given them. Because it's a shitty feeling knowing you're making all this money and, you, and these actors are making peanuts. But because Peter's greedy, he obviously didn't do that, obviously. Fuck that. I mean, I'm not giving them. I'm not, I wouldn't do that. I, I mean, you're so generous. I would never do that. I keep all the money to myself. Yes, I know you keep all the money to myself, but I'm not you, Peter. Yes, I'm greedy. I mean, yes, I'm very greedy, obviously. Me and Peter are taking all the money. We're taking our 69%. Don't hate us. We're going to make our tens of billions off of the movie, obviously. We're going to make our nice, I don't know, 50, 55 billion <coughs> off the movie, obviously. The actors are making peanuts, Bob. Even though I'm greedy, I'm generous. I pay all the actors for millions. I paid Vigo his rich 10 million bucks. I gave him 0.2% of the profits. He signed his like 18, 21 million dollar deal. He's walking away with like 8 plus million in his bank. Even though his pocket change is compared to me, he made, he walked away with a rich, rich salary. Bernard Hill, John Wayne Davis walked away with, with millions in a bank. A couple million in a bank. A nice like 4 million in a bank they walked away with. 3 million, 3.5, 4 million in a bank they walked away with. A rich fucking paycheck, obviously. Yeah. They all walked away with a lot of money. A 3 million, 3.5, 4 million in a bank. Yes. They got, they got paid a lot of money. They're going to work hard. They're going to destroy the role. If you thought Bernard Hill's acting for King Thane was good, he's going to destroy the role of fucking uh, Eli. If you thought John Rice Davis acting in, in, in The Hobbit, sorry, not in The Hobbit, in um, if you thought John Rice Davis acting in, in Lord of the Rings as Gimli was good, he's going to destroy the role of the e Eli, the leader of Safis, obviously. He's going to destroy the role. But what I'll do for John Davis or Bernard or John Rice Davis, because I'll most likely choose John Rice Davis over Bernard Hill. I will have chairs for them. If they're tired, I can have them have... Hey, guys, whenever you guys are tired, I can have chairs for you to sit down. That way, that way the work isn't too much for you. Because do, doing that blood, sweat, and tears for like an 84-year-old man is a lot of work, man. But 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 Christopher Lee did The Hobbit, and he was fine. He was fine. He I saw him working. He was fine. And he was in his 80s when he did a lot of The Hobbit. He'll, Peter tells me, I have to worry about it. John, John Ryan Davidson will be fine. We can have stunt doubles do, do some of the fighting for them if you want. Hey guys, you guys want to do your own stunts or do you want to have stunt doubles? Ivan, I want. To, I, I know John Wright Davis. Ivan, you fucking kidding me? I want to do my own stunts. I want to fight alongside you against these demon fucking wolves and bats. Yeah, man. Ivan, I, 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 all the actors, but Ivan, all, I guarantee you, all the Zane's actors are going to want to do their own stunts. God, Ivan, I don't want a fucking stunt double. I want to do all the, the stunts myself. As I want to fight alongside you against these demons, against fucking Eric and Del himself. I want to go on this journey with you, Ivan. Yes, because even though the Takis is the main character, all the supporting characters like Tacitonius, Papyri, they all, they're all a part of that journey with Tactius. Fighting Eratat, the Demon Wolves, the Ephesus. Yes, they're all part of that journey. That's why I'm looking at the best story of it told. Yeah, man. In motion picture, man. So all you Zayn's actors, don't hate me. There's a 70% chance you're going to be chosen, but I might perhaps choose maybe another actor. I might choose Daniel Kulaya over, 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 over John Baega. Highly unlikely, because John Baega is better for the role of Tastones. He, he has more of that sarcasm, but I'm going to have them fight for the role. I might choose Michael E. Jordan, you never know. And I might choose the other actor over jo uh, Avon Joje. Whereas Danielle Manette, I'm not going to choose... Any Danielle Manette got the role. I can't see anyone better for the role for Mary. Obviously, and Andy Circus got the job. Andy Circus is Andy Circus. He's a class character. Job is an interesting character. Andy Circus is an interesting character. That's why he's perfect for Job. And I just Alba got the job. As no one else is better for the role of my father than, than I just Alba. You some Sarah? Queen Sarah. I'm thinking Angelina Bassett and that woman who's in the Woman King, the actor who was in the Woman King. She's good for Queen Sarah too. She's dark. She looks like me. But Angelina Bassett looks more like a queen than her. You see what I'm saying? Angelina Bassett's most likely better for the queen. You can have those two actors fight for the role. There's other good actors out there for the role of Queen Sarah, obviously. There's other good black women out there for the role of Queen Sarah. You see what I'm saying? There's other good actors out there for the role of Queen Sarah, obviously. There's other good actors out there for the role. 
There's a high chance the actor for Amor is chosen for Cornelius. I think he's better than the Anonzo guy, but the Anonzo guy might be chosen. Who knows? He's good for the role, too. But I see Cornelius as a white man more than a black man. See what I'm saying? Whereas Merrimus, I see him as a black man, but I also see him as a white man. But I see him a bit more of a black man than Merrimus. But I also see him as a white man, too. I can see Merrimus as a white man. Oh, I see lit Mary and Belle, I see as white, white woman, obviously. Caucasian woman, obviously. Lithia, I see as VJ. VJ is perfect for Lith people, people are like, yeah, I mean, there's no one better for the role for Lithia than your fucking wife, obviously. Your wife is perfect, Lithia. Lithia is known for being beautiful. She's a sweetheart. She's tacky enough to be. Who better to play the role in that is than VJ herself? Yeah. A goddess, right? Yeah, man. And, and Peter was like, yeah, Ivan, Peter, P Peter, do you think I'm good for Takis or do you think I should hire another actor? Ivan, are you fu is that a joke? Ivan, you were born to play the role of Takis. Ivan, no one has the presence that you have. All, all these actors in Hollywood may be amazing actors, but even then, even then, like, you, even then they can't, they can't, they can't compete with your fucking presence on the screen. Yeah, you're, you have a unique presence on screen. You were born to play the role of Takis, Ivan. Yes, I was, I'm saying. But Ivan, if you're not in a movie, it's not going to have, it's not going to be, it's not going to be exciting for, for, for me and the actors. I won't be as invested in your movie if you're not in this movie, Ivan. You need to be in the movie. It's going to build buzz, Ivan. Yeah, yeah, don't worry, Peter. I'll be in the movie, you know what I'm saying? You were born to play the role of Tactius, Ivan. Grimaldor and John Harley, Ivan, you need to be Tactius. You were born to play this role, Ivan. Yeah, man. If I hire another actor to play Tactius, the movie would still be good, but it won't be. It won't have as much buzz. It'd have crazy buzz, but not the kind of buzz if I'm acting in the movie. If I'm acting in the movie, it's going to have crazy buzz. <laughs> yeah, man. It'll have crazy buzz, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. If VJ doesn't act in the movie as Lithia, the movie won't have his crazy butts too. Because VJ builds butts too, obviously. Not as much, much not, not, not as much as me. I'm going to be the main show. But VJ is the main show too. She's my sidekick. She's going to build butts, help build the buzz with me for the movie, obviously. I know what I'm doing, obviously. Obviously. You see what I'm saying here? Yeah, she's just saying yes. Yeah, man. And you're going to see how much more happy Peter Jackson is in my movie than he is in Lord of the Rings. Because in Lord of the Rings, in Hobbit, in Hollywood, he was a dirty slave and he got paid less money. He only made, like, I heard, $10 million for for pre-production. And I may be wrong, but I heard he made $10 million bucks. I, I read online that he made $10 million bucks for, um, for, for, for pre-production and, and production. Peter made. And post-production. He made, he made about $10 million bucks. And they don't... Warner Bros. probably paid Peter some bonuses, obviously. He probably gave him some 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 money under the table for bonuses. They do that in Hollywood, obviously. They might have paid some of the, the, the some of them some money behind, under the table, maybe, perhaps. Obviously. And then he got one eighty million dollars for the three movies for the profits. Obviously. And he worked hard. I saw it behind the scenes of the rings. Peter Jackson worked his ass off. And yet he got he didn't get paid as much. And I paid him ten million for pre-production alone. Co-writing the script, pre-visualization, storyboarding. Concert art meetings, obviously, consulting with the seven team and taking his notes for the for, 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 for the script, obviously. Going over the script, he he got his 10 million bucks for that, obviously. For pre and he also, for, as, as well as overseeing everything the second year in Switzerland and then the third year. I'll have Peter oversee some of that the second year, and he'll be overseeing the crew in the third year with the seven team and he went to Moltor and, and, and Barry Osborne and all them, obviously. And he gets his rich $65 million to start production for the 9 to like 12 months. Most likely 12 months. Most likely it'll be longer. And he, he'll work hard, obviously. And he knows he'll get a 10 mil bonus after, for, after filming's completed. But he'll work hard. Obviously. And he knows he's going to make a lot of money off the speaking fees. For the, for the world tour. If the world tour happens. It's not guaranteed the world tour will happen. I'm assuming it happens. If it happens, Peter Jackson will make his nice like money off speaking fees. And he knows he's going to strike it rich off the royalties. He's going to make his like $250, $300 dollars in royalties. $300 million in royalties at least. $250 to $300 million in royalties he knows he's going to make. Which is a lot of money. He'll work really, really hard, Peter. He'll work hard. He's going to make his, he's going to make his, his millions, man. Hundreds of millions, hundreds of millions plus. After taxes. Peter will make his $180 to $200 million plus after taxes. You also have the New Zealand rates. He'll make his like 200, 180, 200 million dollars plus in his bank. Right over here. He'll work hard. He striked it rich, man. <laughs> he made a lot of money, man. He'll be worth almost $2 billion once he films uh, Zanus. P 
beater. Once he directs a movie, he'll be worth close to two million bucks. His now worth is going to skyrocket to that close to that two million range, one point eight million range around there. He's going to be rich. Yeah. Obviously, Peter Jackson is third richest director behind Steven Spielberg and George Lucas. It goes George Lucas. George Lucas is the king of directors. Because George Lucas is what? George Lucas is the king of directors because he owned his own Lucasfilm company and he, t he, he, he when, when I, whenever his movies gross like eight hundred, nine hundred dollars, George Lucas took all the profits for his movie. He made all that money off the movie and he made a shitload of money off the merch for the t-shirts, toys, the games. He made money off all that, man, George. Yeah, man. That's why he's worth like seven billion bucks. And Steven Spielberg is second. He's worth four billion. And Peter Jackson's third behind him. He's worth like one point five billion dollars. Yeah. Peter Jackson's a powerful director, man. He's bigger than all these directors in Hollywood. Bigger than even James Cameron. And James Cameron's big. Peter Jackson's bigger than James Cameron. He's bigger than James Cameron, yeah. And I think Peter is one of the best directors in Hollywood, too. I think he's one of the best. He's not the best, obviously, but he's one of the best. Because he did, he, did, he did Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings surpasses all these movies, man. It's, it's the best movie children ever made. It's even better than Jurassic Park, man. That's Steven, Steven Spielberg directed a masterpiece, Jurassic Park and E.T. and Indiana Jones. But those movies are not as good as Lord of the Rings, man. Lord of the Rings is a masterpiece, obviously. But Peter Jackson has more consistency than, 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 than Peter Jackson. That's why, in my opinion, don't hate Peter Jackson. Steven Spielberg is obviously better than Peter Jackson as a director. But Peter Jackson is not far behind. He's, 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 he's one of the best. Easily top five best directors in Hollywood. Top ten. At least top ten. Best directors in Hollywood, Peter Jackson is. Because you have Christopher Nolan, you have Quentin Tarantino. Those guys are really, really good too. Obviously, right? Yeah. Obviously. But Peter Jackson is the best director for fantasy movies. Hence why he's the perfect man for the job for Last of Us Aeneas. But Mel Gibson's also good for the horror and the biblical symbolism because he did Passion of Christ. Hence why he's also really good for Zane too. Hence why those two directors are going to have to fight for the job. I'm not just going to choose Peter Jackson. No. I'm going to test his creativity. I'm going to test Mel Gibson's creativity. Whoever comes with a better answer, that's the director I'm hiring. I might, and there's a good chance I might even choose Mel Gibson over Peter Jackson. You never know. Mel Gibson and Peter Jackson already know who I'm going to choose. I guarantee you all you guys are Ivan. You, Ivan, are you fucking retarded? Choose Peter Jackson, man. He directed Lord of the Rings. He, he brought that the world of Middle-earth to life. Yes, he did. Obviously. But his Hobbit trilogy wasn't the greatest. You know what I'm saying? And Mel Gibson has more consistency than Peter Jackson. As Peter Jackson's only known for Lord of the Rings. His King Kong movie was pretty good. It was like 6.5 out of 10. It wasn't great. It was not, wasn't bad, it was pretty good, but it wasn't like a masterpiece, it was a pretty good movie. His Mortal Engines flopped, obviously, and his Hobbit, his Hobbit trilogy was a mess, it wasn't that great. It was okay, it was pretty good, but it wasn't great, because Peter Jackson winged it, see what I'm Whereas Mel Gibson has more consistency, he did Braveheart, masterpiece, he did Lethal Weapon, Lethal Weapon was a really good movie, I saw the first Lethal Weapon, I believe. He did Hacksaw Ridge, he did Passion of the Christ, and all those movies are all fucking masterpieces. He has more consistency than Peter Jackson. That's why I'm like, oh man, like, should I choose? He also did a movie called Apocalypto. That was a good movie, too. That was a fucking amazing movie, Apocalypto. That was a good movie. Like, man, P Mel Gibson's talented. The guy knows his shit. Yeah, man. But, but, but I told you, even though Mel Gibson is more consistent than Peter Jackson, Peter Jackson's Lord of the Rings movie beats out all of Mel Gibson's movies that he did. You see what I'm saying? That one movie that Peter Jackson did is high tier, high tier quality, man. Best movie shows ever made. That's why. Somebody tells me he might be the better man for the job than Mel Gibson. That's why I'm going to have to have this top talk with my team and VJ and, and George Lucas and all of them when I start the process for, for, for Zanus. I'm going to have to have this big talk with my team. Okay, guys. To end it off here, okay, guys, who do you think is better for the job? What I'll do is I'll have my doc team film Peter Jackson, film Mel Gibson. I'll have them send, send, me, send me a footage of, of the interview. I'm going to discuss who I, I, I'm going to. I'm going to talk it over. Okay, guys, who do you think is better for the job? Mel Gibson or Peter Jackson? I don't know, Ivan. That's tough, man. I think you should go with Peter Jackson, Ivan. He's a right. He's the best man for the job. He did Lord of the Rings. He brought the world of Middle Earth together. Plus, you're hiring Lord of the Rings crewmen. You're hiring Weta Digital, the company he owned. He knows all those guys. You're hiring Weta Workshop. He, Peter Jackson knows all those guys. He knows Fran. He knows Barry Osborne. Hire him. He, he can connect with the crewmen more. Yeah, you're right. He might connect with the crew more than Mel Gibson. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Anyways, if this video, stay tuned. I'm going to enjoy the show before you guys. I'm going to upload it with my step-parents reconnect the internet. It's Ivan Amara. I'm signing out. Peace.